Welcome. Thanks for joining in today. Today we are going to bake a fugace bread. This is the French counterpart of the Italian focaccia bread. Tastes pretty similar. However, it's a bit flatter and a bit more crispier. It's a very nice tear and shear bread. So you can use it with olive oil, balsamic vinegar, chili dip, etc. Really, really nice. So I've got bread flour in which I'm going to add my salt on one side and yeast on the other side. I'm going to add a tablespoon full of olive oil. I'm using electric mixer today because the dough is quite wet and kneading it by hand or mixing it by hand can be quite tricky. So electric mixer with a dough hook, going to start on slow speed. Into the dough, I'm going to start adding cool water from the tap. It depends how much we need. I'll let you know in the end how much I actually require. It will be between 150 to 200 milliliters or cc's of cool tap water. We add it slowly because you don't want the dough to become too soggy. You want it to be a bit moist but not too soggy. When the dough is mixing up nicely, going to increase the speed to medium speed. So my dough has been mixing for about 10 odd minutes. It's nice and stretchy, as you can see, nice and stretchy, very smooth and soft and silky. And I'm going to transfer it into a plastic Tupperware. You can use any plastic container. I have lined it with olive oil, very small amount. And I'm going to leave this in here to rise for about one hour or until it's twice the size. So I'm going to cover it with a tea towel and leave it for about one hour and I'll see you then. So after one hour the dough has risen to more than twice the size. Now we don't want to knock the dough too much. We just want to handle it slightly gently. So I've got a baking tray with a non-stick paper on, plenty of flour and I also use some semolina. You can use one or the other or both. It just gives the crust a nice texture and flavor. Tip the dough gently onto your baking tray, some flour on top and a bit of semolina. Now gently spread it. We don't want to make it totally flat. Don't get rid of all the air inside. So it's a nice oval shape. That should do. Take a pizza cutter or a knife and make some cuts. Make it look a bit pretty. So I've used a pizza cutter to make the cuts and I have spread it with a butter knife. So it looks nice. So what we are going to do next is to put it into a plastic bag and let it rest for about 20 odd minutes. Make sure the plastic bag is not touching the dough so it expands nicely. So while our dough is resting for 20 minutes, we are going to pour some hot water, boiling hot water, bottom of our oven in a baking tray. And I'm going to heat my oven to 200 degrees centigrade. As you can hear the sound of the fan, it's a fan oven. So 200 degrees centigrade for a fan oven. If you have a non-fan oven, it will be 220 degrees centigrade. If you have a Fahrenheit oven, it will be 425 degrees Fahrenheit or gas mark seven. So I've taken the dough out of my plastic bag after 20 minutes. If the cuts are closing up, just put a knife in there, a butter knife, and just spread them out a little bit. My oven is preheated to 200 degrees centigrade, and the moisture from the hot water we put in there will give our, hopefully, the bread a nice crust. So I'm going to sprinkle some olive oil on top. If you have a pastry brush, just spread it around. Some dried oregano. And I'm also going to sprinkle some coarse sea salt. You don't have to use it. I like the crunch of the sea salt. This is going to go into my oven. My oven will take about 18 minutes. 
normal baking time will be between 15 and 20 minutes depending on the heat in your oven so I shall see you back in about 18 minutes So I took the bread out of the oven after 18 minutes. Uh, the crust looks nice. Let's have a taste of it. It's been cooling down for about 15 minutes. Let's have a taste. The texture looks nice. Lovely, beautiful bread. So we're going to have it with some olive oil, balsamic vinegar, some chili oil, and also with some tomato salsa with basil in it so it really will really nice really really nice bread so do try it gorgeous bread and until next time i'll see you soon take care